So in the last section, right, we talk about market structure, right, and rejection zone, then reversal pattern, right? I told you that I have three, um, actually seven reversal patterns, um, seven reversal, reversal patterns. And this is what I use to determine how the market, I mean, when the market wants to change direction. So I will know beforehand, before the market change direction, and there is one that I need to see the confirmation before I will take the trade, right? But yesterday, I will uh, showed you one sample of that because many people have been asking me about that. So I only showed you um, the the three e structure right that is what i explained yesterday so um and that is how it's going to remain if you want to learn more then you need to get into the mentorship and see how things are done so just like what i said um all this training they are the fraction right they are just the beginning of my of my class right of my mentorship class and that is what i'm giving out for free right so you can if you have actually seen my course outline you will see that section one is what I've already communicated to you. I have four sections there, uh, right? In that section one, I'm, I mean, I have four uh, parts there in that section one, right? And I've already discussed that with you. Then in section two, that is what I will be talking about today. But just um, for you to be aware of this, is not that I will be giving you detailed. And if you send me charts, right, based on what I have discussed with you, I might not really respond to you because it's late for you to. Um, uh to decide that on your own right because the reason why you are paying me is because you are paying me for my uh mentorship right what is what is the meaning of that mentorship for for me to assess whatever things i have communicated to you for me to mark you and for you to actually be on track based on what i have taught so you just like what i said yesterday many courses is actually there online that you can download and watch but there is a difference between you just getting the free material i mean you just getting someone's paid course right for you to study and there is a different thing uh, when that individual is now guiding you right it's really different right and you have actually seen that over time most of my students they can bear me witness none of them can really uh, i mean get the exact thing i'm looking for right in the market or else i really point your attention to the to, to it for you to correct that so that's what is going to mark the difference probably immediately after this class i might decide to have a special class with some people that is not going to be free but to be less than that but i'm going to decide that later all right so today we'll be talking about three things right we'll be talking about refinement how do you refine a zone right and we'll be talking about entries based on what we discussed yesterday then also i'll be talking about trade management and how you can take the trade so basically, this is what I want to talk about today. And I believe that um, I should be able to discuss that effectively. Right. So just like yesterday, I will be talking about um, some parts. Uh, let me just get that done. Just in a minute. Right. So... Um, there are reasons why we refine our zones, right? And the reason why we refine our zones is for us to have the highest level of risk work ratio. How, how will you feel and what will be your fantasy if you can um, easily gain 10% of your account in just one, one trade and in just a few minutes? How are you going to feel? And what will be uh, your dream, right? If you can really make 100% of, I mean, when you can actually make one to 100 risk word ratio in a day, I mean, within some minutes, you know, that is really cool. You know, this is not just something that you just dream about um, to take one pip stop loss, less than one pip stop loss, and you think that is actually impossible, that I'm going to be showing you how possible that is. Then at the same time, you should know that it's not something that after you have learned it now, then you will now master it immediately. No. I told my students now, after learning from me, right, after taking the feeder school class, then there is a need for you to learn all over again for the period of two months or six weeks minimum, right? And this is for you to really get yourself, get, uh, get yourself adjusted to what you've actually learned and for you to know how the market really communicates with those information that I've given to you. So this is not the holy ground and this is not 100% winning strategy. 
right? Though it has high reward, but at the same time, it is not 100%. So that you will not just go and blow up your account thinking that you have made it in life. No. If you do not ap apply ap um, uh, appropriate um, risk word ratio, I mean uh, trade um, risk management, then you will find yourself to blame. Just like any strategy that, just like what I said yesterday, any strategy works. But if you cannot manage your emotion and manage yourself very well, then you will lose that account. That is why we have many people blown up accounts one way or the other, right? Because they've not managed themselves very well and they actually think that forex market is where they can become a millionaire overnight. That will not be possible. Right, and that is not really possible. You need to put on the work, you need to work hard before you can really achieve or several things you really want to achieve in life. What I'm teaching you, we have some students that will still blow up their account with it. Why? Because they are not going to follow what I have discussed. They thought they will think in them by themselves that they've already understood everything, they will apply it on their life account. And what are we going to have? They will blow up their account. So I will advise after communicating this to you, take one month break, two months break, back test this, test it all by yourself in a demo account not even demo i don't really like demo accounts just in a um in terms of um i mean uh, figurative way whereby you're going to mark the setup then you just see how the trade will play out not necessarily you taking the trade practice this for two months this will really help you to shape, shape your mind and also for you to have a, a, a proper emotions to trade life when you really want to begin trading um i mean life trading so this is very very important after learning this take a break don't apply it immediately a word is enough for the wise if you are not wise then you are going to start trading this life tomorrow then you will find yourself to blame i've actually said that before it begins so um this is a refinement and how do you do this as you can see right um we'll be talking about um i talk i actually taught you five rejection zones yesterday but today i will major on just three Right, and these are just the other blocks, right? Strong order block, railroad track, and multiple break block. That is what I will be discussing how to refine their zones, right? I will be discussing how to refine the zone, and uh, I will not be talking about KOB, how to refine it, and uh, LVG, how to, um, how to refine that, and how to make use of them while trading. I will just focus on the OBs, and just like what I said, OBs, other blocks are not taught the way any teacher probably ICT would have taught it I use it in a different way I just call it other blocks but in a real sense I am using candlestick pattern don't forget that so in case you really want to say that ah, this is not what was taught uh, by ICT then you are your own that's your own cup of tea right you need, you need to pay attention to what I am explaining I just adopted that name because it sounds cool to me so um what is the purpose of refinement so the purpose of refinement are actually three as you can see it on the screen, right? It, it, uh, it's for us to get the exact turning point of the market, right? And for us to trade away from that. B, to get a zone that has never been retested before, right? Maybe retest once. And C, to help us get a tight stop loss with a massive risk reward ratio. So these are the three purpose of refining our zone, right? For us to get at the exact turning point of the market, whereby you are not going to you're not going to have um, um, uh, a drawdown, right, when you're trading because you'll be trading one pip stop loss, less than one pip stop loss, two pip stop loss, the maximum is maybe five pips or three pips, All right? So um, under the rules, right, of refinement, strong OB, the rule number one says just pay attention because this is free class. I may not really be, um, really uh, speak on it expressly. So the first one says, don't refine at all, right? And the second one says, drop to lower time frame, all right? As no, probably if you are using, let me state the rule for So drop to lower time frame to get another strong OB within that strong OB that you have marked, right? I am going to show you the sample of that now, right? So this implies that, let's say, for example, you are using four hour time frame, right? And you spot your strong OB on four hour time frame. Don't forget, it must be in line with the market structure. And it must also have all the characteristics that of the OB that we have actually attached to it based on what was taught in the first section, right? So 
um, if you have four hours, if you have trading four hours and can spot the strong will be on four hour, then that shows you can go to one hour or 30 minutes or 50 minutes or five minutes until you can spot another strong OB. Don't forget what I said the strong OB looks like. I've given you different examples of that in the last section. So two, the rules of refining RRT. Now for to refine RRT, you can mark the 50% of the block or number two, drop to lower time frame to get another SOB. That is very, very important. Get to lower time frame to get another SOB. But there is an additional rules of that that is not stated here. I just actually said that by passing, right? I mean, in passing. Now, that is C, that's the third one, right? You should look for an MBB within that block. I'm going to be showing you different examples of that. Look for an MBB. What does MBB mean? It's a multiple break block. Now, that is for refining RRT. So we have three. One, two, but the three, third one is what I just stated that you should drop to the lower time frame and get another SOB. But you are going to be using the rules of refining SOB for that. And what is the rules to refine S I mean, rules to refine MBB for that? And what is the rules to refine MBB? The, number one says you can either mark the 50% of the block, right? Number two says you can also go to lower time frame to look for strong OB. Number three says you should mark the last candle of the two to three candles that break the block. Don't forget, we said multiple break block must be broken by at least two or three candles, right? Must be broken by at least two or three candles. So you are going to mark the last candle. I'm going to show you what that last candle looks like, right? Probably, let me just quickly do that now. All right, um, where is it? Uh, last candle. Now. Look at this MBB. The last candle, as you can see this, it is this first candle here. That's what we'll name as last candle, right? Because we start counting from here, one, two, three, right? So this is the last candle. And this last candle of this MBB must never be retested before. Then for the bullish OB, now this is the last candle here, this last one, right? And that is what you're going to use as your refinement, right? So these are the rules of refining your rejection zone, SOB, RRT, and MBB, right? So very, very important, right? Very, very important. And don't forget the purpose of refinement. Now I'm going to show you different examples if I can spot them before I will show you from, um, from the chart. Let's just go to the chart and see some examples of, if I see a block, then I have to remind you of what we really talked about right now pay attention now let's say um i just want to show you different examples of how to mark that now this is an mbb can you see this candle this one is an mbb it has an impulsive move that break market structure then we have three candles that actually break it can you see that three candles now how do you mark it you have to include this upper week also with it and this lower week Mark it together like like, as, like this. That's your MBB, right? That's your MBB. Now, don't forget the rules of MBB. All right, we've already spot MBBs. Now, we have three rules of marking of um, of refining MBB. Rule number one says you can mark the 50% of the block. So let's apply rule number one. Mind you, you cannot apply two rules on a block. This is very, very important. Now, 50% of the block will be this, right? You look for the 50% of this block. And this is the 50%. You can see I'm using this box because the 50% is already here. Right. You can see this is the 50%. Now, just for emphasis sake, don't forget the purpose of us refining it. Now, assuming you want to refine bullish MBB, it is a different way of refining bearish MBB in terms of reducing the block. Right. For bearish MBB, right, you have to cut the lower part of it. This lower part, you can see I cut that lower part away. But for bullish MBB, let's look for bullish MBB and let's see how we're going to refine that. Okay, let's say this is bullish MBB now, though this was not retested. This is bullish MBB, as you can see it. If you want to mark the 50%, I will have to mark the upper part of it. Don't forget, the bearish is the lower part and the bullish is the upper part. 
for us to reduce this spot. That is how to reduce it by 50%. Are you following? Now, I'm still paying attention to this particular chart. Now, the, another rule says that um, you can adopt drop to lower time frame to look for a strong OB within that block. Okay, let's see that. This is the block. This is the MBB block, right? This is the MBB block. So um, what can we do? What, uh, what was the suggestion, right? You should drop to lower time frame to look for a strong OB. So the first time frame, because I'm using four hour time frame, mind you, you can use any time frame to spot your rejection zone. But in terms of refinement, you have to be dropping to lower time frame for you to spot that readjustment or refinement. So I will drop to H1 within that block. Can I spot um, another SOB? No, I can't. Right. I have to lock this meeting now because they are really distracting me. Right. So if anybody leave now, you cannot join back again. Right. So the first is that we should look for another SOB right within that block and that SOB we can spot it here then we can drop to 30 minutes time frame again right we can drop to 30 minutes time frame we can spot an, uh, the SOB within this block can you see we can spot the SOB within this block then you can drop to 15 minutes time frame right on that 15 minutes time frame I can see this SOB here can you see this SOB this engulfed let me remove this block can you see this engulfed and has an impossible move that break structure so I'm going to mark this as my refinement. You can see I came all the way to 15 minutes time frame. Now, if you go to four hour time frame, that was the exact, the exact zone that this market reversed from. Can you see? By the time this market retested this zone, that was the zone that it actually reversed from. So that is the rules concerning refinement. Right? I look for it to be within that block. Now, another rule says that um, you should mark the last candle of the of the two or three candles that break the block now let's see that let's say this is our mbb again now what is the last candle that break the block this is the last candle All right just like the example i gave you earlier now you can see that was the exact zone that this market came to retest then we have the drop so these are the ways to refine All right i've already taught you how to mark the 50 percent and how to look for SOB within that block. Now, let's now see some different examples um, in, in this chart. Right. Very, very important that you pay attention. Right. In this particular example, we have SOB. Can you see SOB? Can you see SOB? SOB, right, alongside with the market structure. And this was refined to another SOB. Can you see? If you check this date, right? Let me try to zoom this uh, uh, stuff. Now, if you check this date, this was around the 31st, right, of July. That was when this was spot spotted. Then you can see it here. This was the SOB that was it was refined into, right, into that. You have to pay attention to details. Uh, let's let me try to use one example of SOB2 if I can really spot that. Let's see daily time frame. Market is not really cool, but let, let me spot it for in a very um, slight way. Um, SOB, let's do for SOB. Now, this is another MBB, right? This is another MBB. Now, if you mark MBB this way, right? Now, we have three rules, right? So you can either use the 50%. This is the 50%. Right, you caught it. You can see how market came back to retest that zone, exact zone, the market reverse. You can use the LC, right, which is the last candle. LC means last candle. Then you can also go to lower time frame to refine to SOB if you will find that or another MBB. If you will find that there, right, another MBB will be this. I mean, another SOB will be this. So let's see for our time frame. Okay, market did not get there. If you really refine to the SOB, market will not get there. Or oh, what I'm looking for now is SOB, refinement of SOB. Not sure if market will really get here, but let's see. This is an SOB. Do this did not fulfill the rules of market structure and the criteria for SOB. 
right but let's just use this as a refinement now you, as you can see this then you can drop to one hour time frame right to look for sob but when we get to this one hour time frame we can't find an sob right you can go to 30 minutes time frame now on your 30 minutes time frame we can find an sob so i'll refine it to that sob right and if you go to four hour time frame you see that was where price really got to then before the drop the market continues to go higher right so this right this um this is the way to look for that i mean to mark your chart in that case someone we are saying uh sob on gold i'm not sure you're saying that right this is for gold right this uh, this is not a perfect sob anyway right for me i will not use this but let's just see this now let's say this is one hour time frame we spot an sob here right then you can also refine it to 30 minutes time frame we are looking for another sob this is another sob found here right if that is too big because the essence of refinement is just to reduce our zone we can go to 15 minutes time frame we can see the sob we are reducing that block and we can go to five minutes time frame to see we are going to find an mb sob here right one minute five minute time frame you don't have that probably one minute time frame just for you to reduce your zone and this will be very useful in terms of you um using this as an entry go to one hour time frame then we are expecting market to reverse at exactly this zone you can see this was the higher time frame that we actually begins from and this is where we get back to now that is very very important and for you to pay attention to when you are following um, um this um refinement very very important for you to pay attention to in your refining rules right so that you will be good in that so let's just see some different examples based on what i've presented here now this sob you can see it was referring to another sob right we have another sob here right if you can simply check this state and just mark whatever things are mark here probably take the screenshot when you see the recording so that you can process it and see how this was done you can see sob here then you can see it was referring to another sob here on the 30 minutes time frame all right let me just reduce this on so that it will be now this was another sob then it was reduced to another sob there right as you can see that and this is sob now let's move on to um what rrt railroad track so this was defined by 50 percent can you see how the 50 percent was done this was defined to 50 percent this was also refined to 50 percent so it's going to just choose a very cool way of refining so this rrt was referring to sob can you see that our price really got there and price reverse from so it's just the exact point that market is looking to reverse from so this is another one all right as you can see this is mbb right you can see how it was refined so that's not a perfect one presented by him now this is another mbb in here then look at how it was refined the la last candle which we call lc right so very very important for us to take note of so um that is on refinement and you can use this on your higher time frame bias and your entry time frame for you to spot entries now what do i mean by that now we call something higher time frame i will just be giving you a simple structure uh, time frame um to to trade Sim simple time frame combinations was well, so your time frame right combo i'm going to call it time time frame combo right so we are using daily time frame right daily time frame as bias let me bias entry right we are using let's say monthly time frame right as bias and your entry probably because of your work then your entry should be you you can use all right um for our time frame as your entry right so you can practice that based on that if you are using um weekly time frame right as your bias then you can use one hour time frame as your entry right if you are using daily time frame as your bias then you can use 30 minutes time frame as your entry then if you are using um four hour time frame as your bias so you can use 15 minutes time frame as your entry if you are using one hour time frame as your bias then you can use 
um, five minutes time frame as your entry. And if you are using M15, uh, M15 and M13 are actually together, then you can use M1 as your entry. So this is actually the limit I can go. Probably if you are using Trading View, you have you can try to improvise and look for the best that works for you. So this is just for MT4, and we can make use of this in this manner. So let me just group this and um, so M15. Let me just group this together like this. So your bias, then your for entries. So these are very, very important and things you have to pay attention to. So is that taken? Very, very important and you have to pay attention to it. So let's just see. Um, when you have your rejection zone based on market structure on the bias time frame, then the same way you have to look for um, your entry, right, which is actually going to be market structure looking for a rejection zone and you must refine it. So as you are refining the bias time frame then you must also refine your entry time frame because your bias time frame will make will help you to see the exact zone that the market will reverse from then the entry will help you to get the tight stop loss and the exact entry that the market is going to reverse from so the first example i am going to give to you first example let's quickly go to the market then show you that um let's quickly go there let's look at gj right gj gj for our time frame right this is mbb right this is mbb as you can see this is mbb right so i know that this fulfills all the characteristics of uh, uh, of market structure then also of rejection zone because this mbb it break market structure then we have impulsive move market pull back into it then I can spot this as where I'm going to trade from. So I'm going to apply one of the rules of MBB, which is looking for another lower time frame zone. So for me, I can spot an SOB here, right? I can spot an SOB here. So I've already refined my higher time frame zone, which is actually this area. I've already refined it to this. Now, for your entry, after market has broken market structure, then you are expecting market to reverse to that rejection zone and most precisely to your refined zone you are not going to take your entry there immediately no you are still going to look for lower time frame market structure for you to take your entry now when markets reject on that zone then that is when you'll be looking for your entry now you have to look for the date and the time probably in the case of uh, i mean in case of you back testing the, the date and the time that that retest really took place and don't forget the characteristics of market structure that we talked about. When markets give you an impulsive move, then it must come back in a compressed manner, right? Impulsive move, then come back in a compressed manner. Impulsive move, then that must be the nature that you are looking for in the market. If market come back in an impulsive move, your rejection zone, then that is not valid any longer, right? So we can see an impulsive move, then price move back in a compressed manner into that zone. So with this, let's look for the entry. Now, the first one is that I'm going to check the date. This retest took place on the 9th of December, around 12 noon. 9th of December, 12 noon. That was on Wednesday. So I'm going to use that to retrace my entry. Don't forget the entry that we uh, we gave 15 minutes time frame. I mean, four hour time frame is what is 15 minutes time frame right so that is what we will look out for now we go to 15 minutes time frame on that date that's on the um when now right so this was the date night right and this was when the retest took place now when market was coming back here we have higher low right higher high higher low higher high then market broke this structure lower low but this should have really been our entry but market did not come back to that place so this is a lower low, right? This is lower high, and this is another lower low. So I can spot an SOB here that breaks market structure, an SOB here that breaks market structure. Can you see that? Having, uh, you know, I have already refined my zone on the higher time frame. Now on the lower time frame, I saw the market was pulling back into this zone. So when market pull back into this zone, 
I have to read my market structure when market is coming back here to higher higher low, right? We have another higher high right here, higher low, right? Higher high, higher low, higher high, right? Lower low when it breaks this low, then lower high, lower low. Now this should have really been an entry, but market did not pull back there. But we I can actually see where market actually retested. So I have SOB impossible the break market structure. This is a lower low market pull back into it in a compressed manner. So with this, I have to apply the rules of SOB here now. Then what are the rules of SOB? Don't forget, I can either leave it this way, but if I'm leaving it this way, my stop loss will be very big. As you can see, this is about 33 pips stop loss, which is actually good enough for a normal retail traders, right? They will say, that, okay, this is actually a good stop loss. They will put their stop loss here, right? And their entry will be here. Now I'm still going to talk about targets. I'm going to talk about targets. Now, so the, the stop loss will be there, which is about 33 pips. But for us in the LPC group, that is really too large because our stop loss should not exceed three pips or at most five pips, right? And a minimum of 0 0.1 pip stop loss or just one point. You can really have that. So I'm going to apply a refinement rule. So I'll go to five, you know, with this 15 minutes time frame, I'll go to five minutes time frame. When I get to five minutes time frame, right, I can as well spot another SOB. Can you see that another SOB there, right? Can you see that? So I'm going to refine this to this. But come to think of it also, right? This is my stop loss. I mean, this is my entry. Then this is my stop loss. Still very wide. So because of that, I will go to one minute time frame also. You have to pay attention to your stop loss because you must not have a very huge stop loss. So with this, I can spot an SOB here, right? So I have reduced the 33 pip stop loss into what? Into two pip stop loss. Two pip stop loss. Can you see how I refine that? Now, if this zone is broken, then this should be the next zone that the market is going to refine, I mean, reverse from. So just to be on the safer side, I might put one entry here and put another entry here. But this entry is actually too big compared to what we are looking for. And if you are using seconds time frame, then you can still refine this the more. Right, this is SOB, you have to use the rules. So with this, that is my entry. I'm using two pips stop loss, right, on a four hour time frame. Can you see that? This is my entry, this black line. Then my, your target is the next liquidity zone or the next rejection zone that has a very clean spot. Now I cannot see the rejection zone here because all these are just spike, spike. So I cannot see rejection zone here. So the next liquidity zone I can spot is this low number one and this low number two. And don't forget your minimum target, all right, must be one to 10. If your trade is not giving one to 10 risk, which 10% of your account, you shouldn't go for it. Now, this is our entry, right? If you're targeting this low, that's about 128 pip um, um, TP as our TP. Now, if you divide that 128, right divided by two that's about 64 p 64 percent on your account on that single trade so this is one to 64 risk or reward ratio that this would give to you but if you are focusing on this right then this is about 176 now that will give you about 88 percent of your account in just one trade and that is just for a week. And most of the things that I do, if I'm trading for our time frame, I always wait for it to run to the end of the week. Now, if I'm using that's what I that's why you're going to see ORP on my chart. ORP means overall PIP. So it's actually for a day, right? If I'm day trading, it's going to be at the end of the day. ORP means overall PIP for that day. So I'm going to close my trade at the end of that day before Asian section. So the number of pips I gain and the number of risk score ratio is what I gain to my flashcard. But for a week, I'm going to leave it for the, to the rest, I mean, to the end of Friday's day. And that's when I'm going to close it. Now, if I'm going to do that, this is my entry, yeah? And this is where I'm going to close this trade, 215. 215, if you divide it by two, that shows I'll be gaining 107% of my account in that particular week on just one trade. That is insane, right? So you should know that this is not an impossible thing. It's something that is just wisdom. You know, naturally, right, your stop loss should have been 33 pips. But as a rules of refinement, we've actually reduced our zone to what? 
to a lower state as possible. So you getting 10% of your account, 20% of your account within minutes is actually very possible. 100% of your account, actually, I would not advise you to, to use 1% of, I mean, 1% per trade. No, I personally don't use that, probably because I'm trading a, an investor's account, so I'm not really doing that. But even by personal account, because I know that I can easily book 30%, 50% of my account in a week. So I can't really, <laughs> I don't really do that. Even though I know my strategy, no, this is not <laughs> LPC completely. It's about 90% or 88% um, win rate, but at the same time, we have high risk word ratio. So you can see we have 33 pip stop loss, but now as a power of refinement of LPC, right, we've we've we reduced that to two pips. That's insane, right? That's actually very cool. Now let's see another example. Let me just give you another example. Let's see Euro USD. Right. This is SOB. You, are, you can actually agree with me. This break market structure, right? And it has an impulsive move. So with this, I am going to mark this particular zone as my rejection zone. I, I want to trade, right? I want to trade. Now, the first thing, now I'm using 15 minutes time, time frame as my bias time frame. 15 minutes time frame as my bias time frame. Now, just like what I said, your target is the next liquidity zone, number one. Number two, you leave it to the rest of the day or you leave it to the rest of the week, uh, right? And number three, you target the next rejection zone. Right, the next rejection zone. That's what we are actually targeting. Now, the first thing we are going to do after spotting our rejection zone and our bias time frame is for us to refine it. So I will get to the five minutes time frame. What can I see here? I can see an LC, right? This is an MBB, right? So I can use the 50% of the MBB on this. Don't forget, I said you can also refine into MBB. So I'm going to use the 50% of the MBB here, right? So when price gets to this zone, you know our entry is on where on one minute time frame using the 15 minutes right as a, a bias no so the, let's go to one minute now this trade is a trade for what for today this is a trade for today right now this trade actually happens today that's what that's what i'm trying to tell you so um let's see one minute time frame when price got there on one minute time frame now um this is higher low, right? This higher high, the market breaks break the structure. Now, this is going to be um, our SOB, right? As you can see, that is our SOB. Now, if you can use second time frame, you can also refine this, and that will give you a very tiny pip stop loss. Now, our, our entry, our entry will now be Our entry will now be here, right? Then what is our stop loss? That's 0 0.6 stop loss. 0 0.6 pip stop loss. That is not even up to one pip. It's not up to one pip. And don't forget, I said your target will be the next RZ. And what uh, next liquidity zone, which is this, or the next RZ? This is the next hours, as you can see, this is very clean. Then we can target this zone, even the 50% of this, because this is RRT. You can target the 50% of this if need be, but I would just advise you to just target the eye of this particular range, right? So this is our entry. Then if you target this particular low, right, that is 23 pips. Now let's see how many risk word ratio are you going to get within few minutes, right? divided by 0 0.6, you can calculate that that's 1 to 38 RR, 1 to 38 risk reward ratio. That's 38% of your account if you are trading um, one minute, I mean, if you are trading 1% of your account in just a day, in just a few minutes, right? And if you are targeting this um, this particular stop, uh, I, right, that's 27 pips, and that would be um, 1 to 45 risk reward ratio. Can you see that? This is amazing, right? Right. So you need to understand that this is the power of error PC strategy. And every other person, I've seen many uh, um, school of thought and mentorship that are actually teaching this, but it's not the same thing, right? It's not the same thing, right? So you need to 
know this. So let's give you another example, right? Um, let's give you another. Who is this person? Please, nobody should join any group link that this individual sent to the page. Nobody should join that. And this will make me not to post this link. I mean, this video or again. I can see, I can be teaching something and you are creating a group that I actually did not support. If any one of you have joined that group, then it's better you leave it immediately. And that person, I'm going to remove him now. I guess I'm not. We can spot an RLT. This is an impulsive move that break market structure. So we can apply our refinement rules, right? This is MBB, right? We can spot MBB here, right? And we can spot SOB and M50 time frame. Even though we can still go to five minutes time frame and mark it correctly. So with this, our entry for one hour time frame should be um, should be five minutes time frame. So with this, we have this particular zone, this block. Now this is not a break of structure. Uh, we are talking about market structure on lower time frame so it is different from breaker block the breaker block that I actually showed you in different videos on my youtube uh, channel is not the same thing as the market structure or break of market structure no as uh, some people we have actually called this a breaker and this is your source no we are not going to do that we are using main market structure right to follow the flow are you following so very very important now so this particular block right actually broke this structure and at the same time broke this particular structure so with this, we can mark this as our rejection zone on the lower time frame. You know, based on the rules, right, you have to check the time that this really reverse, right? That's 10 o'clock, right? Um, 11th of December. So you go to five minutes time frame again. So that is the exact time that this actually got retested, the 10 o'clock, then uh, 12th or 11th of December. Right, so we've already seen our rejection zone, which is, and SOB. Don't forget the rules. Then we we'll go to the lower time frame again to spot the refinement. Now, so with this, you know, and normally our stop loss should have been right, should have been about three pips anyway. But with this refinement, this is our stop loss, right? Our stop loss will now be what now? Our stop loss will be right 0 0.8 pip 0 0.8 pip that would be our stop loss and don't forget what we said we said you can target what the next liquidity zone or the next order block right this is the next order block here so if our entry is there then our target is this area so that's about 30 pips stop loss right i mean 30 pips um as take profit so you divide that by 0 0.8 that will give you about 37 percent of your account if you are using 1% to trade. So these are the rules of refinement and this is how you can actually refine your rules for you to take entries. So with this, I don't want to hear that you don't know how to grow your account. The something that what will now be left for you is now is how to manage your emotion and, and how for you to get the appropriate mentor to really guide you. Because with this, um, though there are still more to see in the chart, there are still more things to really consider before you take a trade. But this is the main stuff, all right? Entries and just rejections on our market structure in line with that, and you can actually gain an entry. So with this, let me just show you different. Um, where is it? Market structure. Can't find it. Um, just one minute. All right. Okay. Okay. Just like what I said, um, these are examples, right? The examples you can see, this is one to 12 risk word ratio, right? This is the target. You can see the next liquidity zones. I've taught you different liquidity zones, right? On my YouTube channel, you can see this is another one to 17 rejection zone on the lower time frame. on uh, also, then you can see the lower time frame market structure. You can see how the lower time frame market structure is marked 
this is another one lower time frame market structure higher time frame market structure then look at the entry all right risk word ratio 1 to 25 just 25 percent it's actually easy way all right for you to gain and just like what i said we have we still have more things to learn right but that is not for the free class if you join the mentorship right just like what i said by february our mentorship class might be one thousand dollars right so i don't know yet right it's just depending on the group and what the admin will say so this is what you can learn this is what you can practice you can see my video on trading psychology right and how to trade like a casino all those informations are there to really help you to broad, broaden your mind then just like what i said take some time to back test a lot back test don't apply it yet learn the refinement rules listen to it all over again if for a vector i'm going to change my mind to release this video then practice it over and over again over and over again over and over again until it becomes part of you that you can actually spot that at least if this is going to give you a 40 percent win rate right if you follow the rules very well you know it's actually more than that win rate if this is going to give 40 percent win rate but just taking it one trade will really cover all the losses that you've gained and paying attention to details also is required so these are the things to pay attention to and i believe that with this you will really really have more profit than loss than, than the losses and if you follow my rules if you follow my instructions then uh, for you to blow up the account where actually be things of the past you will not be able to blow it all right uh, i mean blow account again so probably i'm going to give offer to some people right based on the content that i've produced that they are going to have these videos i've made uh, available so they are going to pay a sum of 150 dollars right let me say, just call it 150 dollars then they will be in that group for two months right and it's just i mean just one month sorry one month this is just a one month offer just for them to practice whatsoever things they've learned here they will send their charts to me then i will mark i would specifically give them the assignment to look out for then after that one month that would be over just for them to see this but if you don't have then that is okay for you right i guess that is going to be my christmas offer just 150 dollars just for one month for you to practice for you to submit assignment and for me to guide you within that one month is one month then our contract is over so with that if you want to join the mentorship i am still going to open it to some people right just 550 dollars for now but by next year i don't know so if you have any question you can send them to me just like what i said yesterday you can send them to me at um my telegram page which is at all online trader sustain right on my telegram right online trader right trader or you can send me mail right on my mail right so so this is how i'm going to respond to you so pay attention to details then you will be good so these are my details you can contact me here and know that there is uh, there is no other group that is created for lpc that i'm not there if I'm not there, then that is not a valid group. You can ask me that you want to create a group, then I have to really verify those people that I want to join, that they will not be those people that will be smuggling cost to an, uh, one cost to another. But if I see some set of serious people, because right now I have about 29 people that are in a group that I just come in there, they are discussing anytime they like and whatsoever. Probably uh, I might create this group um, for that, but basically for those people that I am giving that offer. For that one month just for them to discuss or services they want to discuss in this particular within this particular range for, for me to guide them to mark their work then also i'm going to send snag it to them and probably i will hold another class with them to show how they can really mark all these charts together right so since then uh we're going to see so if you have any question then you can ask your question now right thank you and god bless you